Hi, it's Jay Stratton here with AmbitiousBlackGirl.com. And tonight I'm going to show you how to stream a live video or webinar on your Squarespace website. So of course, what you'll need is your Squarespace website profile. You'll also need a Google Hangouts profile and account created. And you also will need your YouTube channel and account created profile. So if you have all of those th three things ready, let's go. First thing I'm going to do is go to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to go into the upper right hand corner of my YouTube uh, page channel and I'm going to click my avatar. And I'm also going to click Creator Studio. Then I'm going to go over to the left hand uh, menu and click the drop down for live streaming. And I'm going to click events. Now, this is the live stream that I have going right now for this tutorial. So I'm going to have to create a new one or a mock um, uh, tutorial here. So I'm just going to click on. So this is what you would do is click new live event. And you would enter the title of your broadcast or your webinar. I'm going to name mine test. And here you can actually schedule your broadcast or your webinar for a future date and time. So if you're not prepared to go live today, especially if this is your business and you um, you know have announced that you're going to go live, let's say tomorrow at 12 noon, that's where you would schedule um, schedule your broadcast. So if you schedule your broadcast, basically everything that you're going to be doing is just a prep the prep work, okay? for it but i choose today to go live uh now so i'm going to leave this as is um in the description just you know give a brief description of your webinar but also keep in mind that you want to use verbiage that um is uh easy for your customers to search so when you're just when you're putting in your description or entering in your description think of your audience how are they searching for your content um, how are they searching for your video? So use verbiage like that. Um, and also do the same in, in your tag section. Don't think about it from your perspective. Think about it from your audience perspective and how they are going to search for you and use those key terms. Once you have those two set up, uh, you'll want to go to the right hand side of the screen here. And uh, these will be this will be your privacy setting section. If you click the drop down, you'll see three options. The first option is going public. That means anybody can find you. They can use a key terms, key keyword searches. They can type in your business name um, and all of those things. And they'll be able to find your content on YouTube, uh, Google, et cetera, et cetera, um, on your website, whatever. But basically this is for Google. This is for the YouTube search. So do you want your video to be public where anybody can find it? If so, click public. If you want your um, video to be limited um, and exclusive, then you will probably want to choose um, unlisted. Now, unlisted is good for entrepreneurs, especially online entrepreneurs who offer like e-courses and, and things like that, paid content. So if your uh, customer has paid for uh, a particular content and you don't want um, the masses to be able to see your, uh, your video, then you probably would like to select unlisted because that means that people can find it um, if you give them the URL for your video okay or they can find the content if you um are able to see the content on your squarespace page if they have your uh, access to your squarespace exclusive squarespace site that will be hosting this video okay so basically this is not going to be public not anyone can just search for your content and find it only people that have your url can find it okay your video url if you wanted this this video to be completely private, uh, which some people do because these are test videos and you know they're working out the kinks and things like that, then you would select private. 
Um, no one can see it except for you. That's it. Now, if you choose one today and you decide that you want to change that, you have the ability to come back into this live streaming tab under events and be able to change this information to whichever one you want to choose. OK, so today I am going unlisted. Um, because I don't want everyone, uh, you know what, I'll go public. <clears throat> All right, and now under the type, we want to use the quick type using Google Hangouts on air because that's the, the quickest way to go live right about now, okay? Um, instead of the custom one where you have to actually have a different application or a different encoding and you know all of that. You don't want to... Uh, I don't want to do that for the purpose of this tutorial. I want something quick. I already have a Google Hangout, Google Hangouts uh, profile and account, so let's we'll, we'll roll with this. All right. So the next thing you want to do is click Go Live. Now I'm not going to click Go Live because I'm already live, so I can't have two going at the same time. So the next thing that you're going to see on your screen is a snapshot of what's going to happen once you click go live. All right. This is the window that will pop up once you click go live. It's going to say, hey, are you ready to go? Let's get this going. Um, it's also going to remind you that um, if you if your intention was to schedule an event for a later time to cancel out because this one is going live now. Um, so it's just giving you a warning there. If you're ready to go live now, you just click OK. Then the next thing that will come up, and keep in mind, this is also going to be a screenshot. The next thing that will come up will be your Google Hangouts profile uh, or account, OK? And if you, so now some people have to manually sign in, um, so you probably may not see this immediately. But for most people, they see their Google Hangout uh, Google Hangouts pop up on their screen immediately. If you don't see it manually log in and you know you should be fine. All right, so what you'll want to do is go over to the left hand, uh, the left hand menu, click the second icon, which is um, gonna be your share, your screen sharing permission. So you wanna click that. And it's gonna give you two tabs. Now I like to share my entire screen. Um, some people are just you uh, sharing one application, you know, maybe it's a, a PowerPoint or something like that. And that's all they want to share. They don't want to share anything else on their screen. Um, just keep in mind that if you share your entire screen, that it is going to show your your desktop, uh, your I'm sorry, your background um, of all of the windows that you have open and things like that, unless you maximize your windows. OK, and that's what I've done here so that we so you won't see all of my wallpaper and all that stuff. So I just clicked on in, uh, my entire screen and I clicked share. Now, this does not make you go live. OK, this is just setting up your permissions. OK, and how you want your screen to appear. So go ahead and click share. You're not going live just yet. Um, what you'll want to do once you've done that, though, is look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen here where it says links. You'll want to click on that. Now, the, what will pop up is your YouTube URL, your video, the YouTube video URL. Um, you'll want to copy that because we're going to embed that into your Squarespace website. So click on the links and it'll pop up with your YouTube URL. Then we're going to go to the website. All righty. So here is my uh, website, Ambitious Black Girl. I am going to create a page exclusively for this video. Okay, so I click this plus sign and I click on page. If you have a Squarespace website, you should already know what this is. Now the page title, you could name that the webinar, you know, the, the webinar title that you want to use or, or what, however you want to do that. So I'm going to just name this uh, test go live. And then I'm just going to use a blank page because that's all I want. I want to be able to customize it. Okay. 
And then I'm going to click Start Editing. So this is going to be the page that it goes, the, that, uh, that the video goes to, or will be housed in, I should say. So what you'll want to do is click, um, you know, click the bar, the blocks, I'm sorry. And you'll want to click Embed. Okay, and here is where you'll paste your UR, your uh, your URL for your YouTube video. Um, I'm gonna pause right here for a second so that I can get my URL. Okay, alrighty, and so I'm gonna paste that here. And you just give it a second, and you'll see it pop up. You see that? Yay! So you click apply. And then you'll want to click save. Now I'm not going to click save because if I click save, it's going to you're you're going to hear all of this these echoes and things like that. So consider that when you are prepping your um, when you are going live, um, that sometimes I think that this automat maybe mine is automatically playing or something, but I can hear myself um, you know speaking. It's like an echo. Um, because of Google Hangouts and then this is playing. And um, so I'm not gonna click save and you might wanna test that out also yourself to see if that, um, if you have the same experience. If you do have the same experience, you might wanna just click save and then X out of this, okay? Um, now, before I exit out of Squarespace, I also wanna let you know that there are, um, there are applications that you can embed on this page also for chat rooms or for chat boxes and things like that. So Google though, Google that. I won't go into all the details of that, but there are other things that you can do to this page besides embedding your video. All right. So um, like I said, I'm not going to click save, but typically that's what you'll click and you are set up for your Squarespace page, y'all. And you're also set up on YouTube. So your video is on your website and your video is on YouTube. Now, what you have to do is go live. So we're going to go back to Google Hangouts and we are going to, um, down here at the bottom, you will typically see it uh, a green box that will say go live. Now, this is the actual thing. So let me show you a picture of it. So hopefully I can get a picture going here. Um, so down at the bottom, uh, it's not going to let me show it to you. Um, down here at the bottom, if you can see this section here, it says start broadcast. You would click that. And you'll want to make sure that your camera is you know, cameras working. You want to make sure that your microphone is working. You can tell that your microphone is working because these little dots here will um, be fluctuating with each vocal fluctuation. OK, it'll be like green dots going up and down. Um, and then uh, uh, once you click start broadcast, um, it'll tell you when you're live. OK, if you're off air, this will be a little red dot right here. OK, um, but other than that, that's what you'll do to go live. And your screen is shared on um, YouTube and your screen will be shared on Squarespace. Now, if you want to stop your broadcast, you will just click this red button here. So again, when you go live, when you before you go live, this is green and it'll say start broadcast. When you're ready to stop, it says stop broadcast. So um, so anyway, uh, this right here is basically just for the screen share part, guys. So if you have like a presentation or content that you want to share, this is what this is how you would do it. OK, now, if you are looking to share your actual, you know, yourself, your 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 face, then you would click the camera. OK. All righty, and that is pretty much it. I think um, I think we've we've covered just about everything. So if you have any questions, just shoot me an email, ambitiousblackgirl at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Um, and happy live streaming. Hope to see your video soon. Have a good one.